Yo guys, it's Nixara and today I'm here with one of my fucking craziest FPS boost of all the time basically because in this video I will show you how I managed to boost 160 average FPS on the same fucking PC and you can do it too, obviously so guys, on this picture you can see basically my setup free RTX 360 Ti, Ryzen 7 5.7 XTD and 16GB of RAM this version is basically an unoptimized Windows 11 as you can see the average FPS is 317 and the 1% lows are 140 so it's a very 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 poor result so it's gonna help you a lot if you never do any optimizations before and uh, let me fix this sorry guys for the black bars but uh, for the picture it was needed so now we are coming with a Windows 11 optimized by professionals. This is a custom OS named Atlas OS. So as you can see, we still gonna get pretty decent results and uh, it's gonna boost a lot of FPS, but could be better in my opinion. So let's see if we are using Atlas OS totally optimized. I was using this for months, so I had a little touch on it and uh, obviously it's still not the best results because we get 400 average fps and 180 1% loss but guys now we are coming with windows 10 enterprise ltsc 2021 iot something like this so we are coming with the results of this one as you can see 385 average fps and 174 uh, 1% loss, but this is completely unoptimized. Now, let me show you the results. What happens if I touch, if I make some optimizations on the PC? As you can see, it's gonna end right now. 3, 2, 1, let's go. And guys, this is the current PC that I'm using as well 474 or 75 basically, and 1% loss are. 187 i don't know what you think but this is for me an average 150 fps boost without replacing any part of my computer without fucking uh, overclocking my cpu gpu i didn't do anything except changing the os and optimize the pc so guys if you want to get this fps boost let me know in the comments i will make a new updated version of my fps boost guide and uh, i'm gonna include how to get this uh, windows 10 on your pc because i'm not gonna lie it's a bit completed uh, complicated if you want to do it for yourself if you are a bit advanced you can do it probably for yourself as well but uh, to legit check everything and uh, get the right device without getting a corruption it's a bit complicated but i can help you with this so let me know in the comments guys if you want to see the guide of it and I'm gonna include a new updated version with my FPS guide in all together. Guys, I think it's a really insane FPS boost. I'm still using this uh, Windows 10 and honestly it's the best fucking results I ever get. So guys, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.